Since the creation of Ebony State on October 1st, 1996, it has witnessed three civilian administrations. First was Dr. Sam Egu, whose tenure lasted from May 29, 1999 to May 29, 2007. And the second was Chief Martin Elechi, with a term from May 29, 2007 to May 29, 2015. And currently, Engineer David Nguese Omai, who has been in office since 2015, with few months to the end of his tenure. These administrations have in no small measure provided democracy dividends to the people of the state and created a master plan for the overall development of the state. Unarguably, the developmental project of the present administration had overtaken that of its predecessors as it has given Ebony State an unusual face lift within the southeast geopolitical zone of the country. In addition, the current administration Ebony State outperformed its predecessors in infrastructural development. However, some have argued that it has not done much in human capital development like job creation, empowerment for small businesses, and conflict resolution. The first year of the second tenure of Umai has aided the consolidation of innovative governance, which has turned Ebony State into a center of excellence. As a result, Ebony State, considered one of the most backward states in Nigeria, is now regarded as one of the fastest growing states with the most conducive environment for investment. Today on Ebony Post TV, we want to explore some of the present government achievements. In terms of infrastructural developments like the construction of roads, the governor has constructed a road network in each of the 13 local government areas with bridges. In addition, the state government completed over 800 km of concrete road within the satellite and urban towns and over 300 km of federal highway. The state government is also building the Ebony State Ring Road Project which aims to provide sustainable economic opportunities, social services to enhance relevant government institution capacity to deliver social economic development in the state. The road will also contribute to reducing poverty through support for agricultural growth and mining and fostering regional collaborations within the neighboring states and communities. The Ring Road project cuts across all the local government areas in Ebony North and Ebony Central Senatorial Zone, including Izi, Ebony, Eza South, Eza North, Ahoku, Ishielu, and Abakliki local government areas. The government has also constructed flyovers in order to reduce traffic congestion. A list of the flyovers in Include the three 700 meter twin flyover bridges at Akanebiam Roundabout, Ofiamwali Junction, the International Market Bypass, Abomege Okahu Bridge, seven bridges along Kalago Ehamufu Road, and the pedestrian bridge at Ebony State University's permanent site gate. Others are roads and bridges constructed within Onweke Ezama Oshiro Nature Road, 35 km Obia Zero Nature Road, 8.3 km Ubu Presbyterian Church Road, 12 km Umuchima Road, 7.5 km. Okwasi Road, 23 km Akeze Ivo Road, 15 km section of Abakliki Afibo Federal Highway, 14.5 km Abakliki Internal Streets, and 15 km Abomege Ukahu Ungulangu, Okwasi Federal Road. Construction of the Ecumenical Center. An ultra modern Ebony State event center is located right at the heart of Abakliki capital city, beside the Abakliki Ogoja Road and the Abakliki Afikbo Expressway. The Ecumenical Center is loaded with quality and standard facilities, making it an international standard event center for promoting social and religious activities in a calm atmosphere laden with exotic light and ultra modern water fountains. The interior of the building has a fantastic two way escalator which conveniently takes one up or down from other section of the magnificent edifice. There is also a 284-inch LED display screen strategically mounted in the free flow area to keep those relaxing in the room entertained or informed of any significant event taking place in the auditorium that can hold about 15,000 persons. The facility also has statutory conveniences fitted with modern facilities and a VIP lounge for resting. The Margaret Umai International Market. The market is a first class market located along Abakliki Ogoja Road on the West African Trust Sahara Highway Abakliki. The international market was started on a low scale by the previous administration but was expanded and constructed by the present Abony state government with modern facilities. As a result, the market has over 8,000 shops. The market was built to help improve the state's economic situation, empowering Ebonians with more jobs when traders were relocated from the small market. 
at the Abakpa market, also known as the meat market. The market consists of banks, car parks, school of trade, and overhead bridges to ease traffic congestion. It also has a maintenance work building for fire services, police posts, two observatory towers for security purposes, a white house for complaints and immediate response, a market cell for reminding law offenders, warehouses, and lots more. The market is the best in the West African sub-region and has everything you might be looking for in stock. The Abonyi Shopping Mall. The ultra modern shopping mall is said to be one of the biggest malls in Africa. It is strategically located in Abakliki, the capital city of Abonyi State, to make it easy for customers trooping in to purchase different goods. The mall comprises of five floors, including cinemas, computer digital technology outfits, and other sections for relaxation experiences. The shopping mall can contain products from outside and within the state, therefore, providing tourists and residents of the state a viable experience for shopping and relaxation. The Akubaro has Central Park. This public motor park is located opposite the Margaret Omar International Market. The park's location is strategic because it is directly opposite the Margaret Omar International Market, making it easier for anyone coming to buy and sell in Ebony State to locate the market quickly and transport their goods in and out of the Ebony State without any difficulty. Before, transport companies operating in Abakliki Metropolis were situated in the Afriko Road axis of the town, and their presence there caused heavy traffic in the center of the city. But by allocating a permanent motor park, they were all located to the Central Park to ease traffic congestion along Afibo Road. As a result, the Central Park is now home to all the parks in Abakliki, ranging from Peace Mass Transit, River Styles, and Onisha South, among others. The King David University of Medical Sciences. The university is located at Uburu in Oazara local government area of Ebony State and is designed as an ultra modern 21st century state of the Arts International Medical University. The university is established with a vision and mission that is consistently targeted at achieving good health for all Nigerians. Furthermore, the university is programmed to provide the workforce needed to address the challenge of human resources for health in line with new global realities and trends that allow with the sustainable development goals and emerging health issues, particularly regarding global health. It is built to house indigenous and non-indigenous of the states. With this ultra-modern medical facility, Ebony State is now the first development state in Nigeria. Construction of the Olympic Stadium The Olympic Stadium is a world-class standard sports stadium under rapid construction by His Excellency Engineer David Umai. The stadium is a 30,000 capacity standard capable of holding more than 10 different sporting events at once. The idea of the stadium was conceived to improve sporting activities in the states like swimming, football, volleyball, running, handball, long jump, discus, basketball, amongst others. In addition, the stadium can host national and international sporting events when completed, and the sporting facility it will help the development of sports talent in the state. As a result, Ebony will be able to produce football clubs that will compete in the Nigeria Premier League and many professional athletes of Ebony extraction, making the state a formidable force in the Nigeria sports arena. Ebony State is now one of the fastest development states in Nigeria, with numerous beautification going on around the state. So if you are thinking of where to invest, invest in Ebony. If you are thinking of the next destination for your tourism and relaxation, a visit to Ebony State will make you believe. That is all we have for you on this episode of the development in Ebony State. So catch up with us on the next episode by subscribing to our channel. Thank you and stay safe.